Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we'll be covering rational expressions. Now, in this one, we're taking a summer difference of rational expressions. And here we have a few problems up. Uh, three out of the five we're going to do today. So the first problem here is x over x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 2 divided by x plus 1. And what we want to do here is we want to combine the two fractions into one. So to do this, we're going to have to get the LCD of both of them. However, we see here we have a polynomial that's a quadratic equation, and here we have just a binomial. So we're going to have to factor this denominator and then find what's missing in the other so we can have the multiplier go on top and bottom so we can join the two together. So let's start by factoring the left-hand side here. So we have x over. Now here we have a trinomial with factors. So we're looking for the factors of 3. And we're looking for the factors of 3 that add up to 4. Because this ends with a plus, and the middle term is also a plus, we know that both factors have the same sign and they're both positive. Whenever the third term ends with a plus, the middle term determines what the two signs are. And as far as the 3 goes, the factors of 3 that add up to 4 are just 3 and 1. Now here we have this taken away with x plus 1. And we see to complete the denominator to make the LCD complete, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by x plus 3 here. So whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top of the fraction. And what we're going to just do now is combine the, the fractions into one. We're not going to distribute or do anything fancy. We're just going to combine the denominators. Never force yourself to do this next step because sometimes you can make an error by just uh, ignoring what's happening here. So we have minus 2 parentheses x plus 3. In this way, you'll know that you're distributing a negative 2 and not just... 2 times x and 2 times 3 because it's a negative 2, all right? So here we're going to have x minus 2x's minus 6 over x plus 3 times x plus 1. And finally, this becomes negative x, negative 6 over x plus 3 times x plus 1. That takes care of this first problem, all right? Let's move on to the second problem here. In problem two, we see we have two x's divided by x squared minus 16 minus 4 over x plus 4. And here we see we have a difference of two squares. So this would be an easier factoring uh, mechanism. While on the right side, we see we have one of the factors of the perfect square. So, I mean, the difference of the two squares. So let's start by factoring the difference of two squares on the left-hand side here. We're going to get x minus 4, x plus 4. And we're subtracting 4 over x plus 4 here. What we want to do now to complete the square, the, the LCD, not the square, is uh, multiply both sides here by the missing component of the denominator. So the missing component is x minus 4. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom here by x minus 4. And again, we're just going to join the fractions at the denominator, which is now just x minus 4, x plus 4. And we're going to bring everything on top together. So we have two x's here take away 4, parentheses x minus 4. Now let's simplify by distributing this. So we have 2x's minus 4x's minus 16. And here we're going to get negative 2x's, right? So we have negative, let's start with the denominator here first, x plus 4. So again, we're going to have negative 2x's. And this is just minus 16. The denominator is x minus 4, x plus 4. If we want to go one more step further to make this a little uh, more simplified, we can factor out the common factor to make sure that none of these reduce with what's left on top. So what we're going to factor out is the negative 2. We're going to be left with x minus 8. And we see that there's nothing in common between the numerators and the denominator now. And this is the final result of this fraction. Let's move on to the third one. And in the third one here, we have a bigger polynomial. Uh, at least the factors for the 14 are going to make this a little bit different from the first two that we had. So again, we're going to take the left-hand one, break the, bino the trinomial down into two binomials, and see if we can find the common factor so that we can get to completing the LCD. Right? So the left-hand side here, we have two x's. The denominator here, we have an x another x, 
And to make a negative, we know the signs are going to be opposites. So we have a negative and a positive. Now here's the tricky part. Whenever the, the third term is negative, you're looking for the middle term as the difference of the two factors, right? And the larger number will maintain the negative symbol, while the smaller one takes the other. Now the factors of 14 that have a difference of 5 are 7 and 2. So because the middle one is negative, we're going to give the negative to the 7 and the 2 to the positive. All right, and here we have plus 3 over x plus 2. We're going to complete the LCD now by multiplying the top and bottom of the other fraction by the missing component, x minus 7. So we're using x minus 7 here, x minus 7 there. We're putting the tops together now, all right? So we have 2x's plus 3 times x minus 7 divided by x minus 7, x plus 2. And it doesn't matter the order you place these. It could be the other way around. This is commutative. Just keep that in mind, all right? What I'm doing is now set in stone. It doesn't matter which way the multiplication is set up, so long as you have both of the denominators in here, right? So we have then 2x's plus 3x's minus 21. Be careful with your distributions. And here we have x minus 7, x plus 2. Now let's combine like terms and we're done with this one. So we have 5x's minus 21 over x minus 7 and x plus 2. Alright, let's move on to the next set.